Hello everyone and welcome back to another week in my life. My name is Mackenzie for those of you who are new and thank you for joining me. Hit that subscribe button for more. Um, as you guys can tell, I am at the beach. I am not at home. Um, I live in Maryland, but right now I am in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. The water is right behind me and I'm super, super excited for this week. Um, we actually got in this morning at um, 4.30. We left at 11, we got in at 4.30 and um, I slept till about 8.30 and then I got up. My typical beach day is 8.30 to 5.30. Um, that's just the way I like to roll. Sorry if you can't really hear me because of the waves, but anyways, I like a long 8.30 to 5.30 kind of day. I got out here a little bit later than I had thought, but I'm so exhausted because I hardly slept um, in the car on the way here. My camera keeps like bogging up because it's so humid out right now. Um, but yeah, anyways, I will be at the beach all through Wednesday. Like we're leaving late Wednesday night. So I only have about four days here, but for those of you who don't know, I have a twin sister, Madison, and her boyfriend, um, their family has a house here in the Outer Banks. So we are just spending a few days here. Um, in June, we spent a week here for beach week. And yeah, now we're here. It is so, so, so hot out, guys. Um, but the water is literally the calmest water I've like ever seen. I haven't gone in felt yet, so I'm gonna bring you guys with me. My skin is breaking out so badly right now, and I'm really glad I came to the beach um, because salt water and sun like helps clear up my skin. Like literally, that's the best remedy is just go to the beach and spend a few days there and it will clear your skin up in no time so um yeah i have a lot of shooting to do while i'm here this is kind of like a workcation i have 15 swimsuits to shoot which is kind of like why not why i'm here but like that's why i tagged along with my sister um and her boyfriend but yeah the bathing suit i'm wearing today is blue neoprene from ami club wear i asked actually recently put this in a haul that I did with the AMI club wear and my hat is from TJ Maxx um, I'm gonna take it off in a few minutes but it is literally so hot out I think I should get in the water before I put sunscreen on but yeah I'll keep you guys posted throughout the day but first let's go feel the water actually because I'm curious ew what is that Ooh, water is so warm. I mean, like, it's not, like, the warmest thing, but... It is later now. It's about 11.45. No one has joined me yet. It's still just me. Um, I mean, there are tons of people around me, but, like, Madison and Colton aren't out yet. Um, but... I have been not busy this morning like obviously I've been doing nothing but I did finish my first summer reading book for school and that was this we know um, it's really small as you can tell but I finished that this morning and I just started reading this book that Miss Mannion gave me it's called Tailspin by Sandra Brown and it's really weird so far like I'm only on chapter three and it's all about um, like aircrafts flying and fog that's pretty much the only thing has been a person flying so yeah it's kind of weird but you know I'm trying to get past those first like five chapters because that's when a book tends to get good anyways I've been in the water a little bit but I just like haven't been sitting in the water because I'm by myself and it's kind of boring to be in the water um, but it's really hot so I've had to get in um, yeah so I'm just kind of hanging out I need to shoot these AMI Clubwear bikinis today as well as the Shein rompers tonight. So I'm waiting for Madison to get back. I'm hoping that she wants to film when it's a little bit darker. Not darker, but like, you know, like 4.35 because then the sun will be the opposite way and hopefully like all these people won't be here. Like there's a lot of people around me and I don't really feel like walking back to the house six times because there's six bathing suits for this company. So. Yeah, but my hair looks gross, but it's beachy. I'm much, much tanner, thankfully. Um, it is 6.30. I spent the entire day frying my body in the sun. Um, the water was super warm, like I said. And Madison it helped me shoot six bathing suits from AMI Clubwear, including the blue one that I have on. So thank you, Madison, if you're watching this. Um, she can hear me but you know I just want her to be reminded when she watches this but anyways we shot those six swimsuits and 
everyone took a shower. Usually I take the first shower, but not today. So now I'm waiting for some hot water. I'm currently working on a blog post. My weekly wrap up needs to go up tonight. Usually I post it at like 10 in the morning and 6.30. So I'm working on that and I'm trying to get this video up for Dormco, figuring out a couple of work things. I'm gonna shower and probably shoot three looks tonight. Not exactly positive yet, but we will see. My sun, my face got so much sun, my nose especially, um, and my chest. But what's funny is that like this bathing suit has like crochet, and that like your skin shows through there. It's taco Sunday, thanks to Madison. <laughs> my food's over here, and we've got yellow rice. My favorite kind of rice with cheese on top. About to call it quits for tonight. Um, just for today in general, actually. I showed you guys our tacos, and then Madison and I shot three looks, um, three Shein rompers, and I actually, like, am not in love with any of the photos. Um, two of the looks came out decent, and one of them is, like, really bad. I'll have to reshoot it tomorrow just because we, like, kind of... Um, we're shooting too late, but I wanted to show you guys the romper that I wore today. It's just this like polka dot romper and it's like an overlay. It kind of looks like um, it's two pieces, but it's not. Um, I really like it. It's like high neck, a blue that's really making my eyes pop. Um, my mom is definitely watching this and being like, Mackenzie, you did not put sunscreen on um, because my face got like way more sun than I expected. Um, I'm not like super burnt. Like the lighting is making me look really burnt, but my nose is just a little crispy, but aside from that yeah so I will talk to you guys in hey, hey everyone I am, have you guys set up in the shower right now um, because I am applying sunscreen before I go just because I don't know I prefer to do it here than when I get there I'm using the um, Neutrogena Hydro Boost sun, water gel sunscreen SPF 50 and I'm really making sure to get my shoulders and my chest because I got a lot of color yesterday, like I'm not burnt, but I'm very crispy right now, <laughs> so I'm trying to like bend over because I have this set up on a ledge, and if I stand up, my head's cut out, um, and I always make sure to get like under my actual line, and then I'm making sure to get my face because my face got so much sun yesterday on my nose. And on my lips, I'm wearing the... Blistex, um, Blistex with sunscreen. It comes in like a little pink pot and that's SPF 25. So I have that on my lips because my lips burn. Um, not all the time, like on occasion they burn. So I put that on just to be careful because I don't want them to get burnt today. I'm wearing this yellow and white polka dot bikini from Express and I literally have the craziest tan lines ever today. Um, so yeah, I am going to grab my beach chair and head out. Okay vlog, we've eaten dinner. We are headed into, where are we guys? What's this place called? Kitty Hawk Surf Co. Colton's favorite store here. There are so many people here. Hey guys, say hey to the vlog. Or not, that's cool. No, it's a, it's your, it's your. Madison and I are matching in public. So maybe they're looking at me because I'm holding a vlog camera. Maybe they're looking at me because we're matching. No, they're looking at you. Put Colton in a toy store and he'll act like a little kid in a candy store. Where are the little finger hands? Those are my favorite. Put oh, no. these things. I bet they're over here. Oh, they only have feet today. I'm going to get my picture with the mermaid. You have to hold my purse. I'm nervous. Hey, what, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to turn the vlog camera off? This really exciting life that I live is me eating my Oreo ice cream in bed. Cheers, guys.
Happy Monday. I have made it to the beach. It's like 8.30 right now. Um, there are a couple people around, but like not too many. And I'm ready for another full day. Oh, I said happy Wednesday, it's Tuesday. This is my last full day. Tomorrow we're gonna leave later at night, but um, we're not spending the night tomorrow. It's super hot out already. The I was listening to the weather before I left. They said it's supposed to be feels like 110 today and that there are a bunch of heat advisories. So to like be really careful about um, drinking water, you know, like going inside and stuff. My body feels absolutely fried. I'm not really sunburned except for like right um, on my chest and a little bit on my nose. So I'm gonna try and keep my hat on a bunch today and make sure that I'm really good about sunscreen because I know that the sun is gonna be so strong today. Um, but yeah, I'm just like crispy, crispy dark. I am wearing a like pink swimsuit from Shopo. It's kind of champagne. A lot of you guys asked me to share swimsuits from Shopo because you were curious about them. So that's what I have on. Um, so far it's super cute. I kind of wanted a bandeau style to like cover up my chest because it's gotten so much sun in the last couple of days. But I just applied sunscreen SPF 50 before I came and I'm about to set up my chair. I don't think I'm gonna make it very long before I have to hop in the water because that sun is cooking already. It is now 1.30 and I am headed back to the house because um, I'm hungry and I wanna eat something. Um, I've been at the beach all morning by myself. Madison and Colton went to the water park today. The last time we were here, um, we actually like had a pink flamingo float and we lost it. Like it was like out to sea. It was going really, really far, like out of reach of swimming, at least for the two of them. And a dad rescued it and um, the daughter like really loved the float and she was like six so they gave the float to the little girls um, of the dad who rescued the float from the water and to thank them for giving the girl the float he gave them free water park tickets so they're at the water park today they had an extra ticket but like I really have no desire to go to the water park because we are only here like today's our last full day and I like the beach like why I came here to sit outside so that's what I did I just finished reading my book like I said um, I like sat down and ended up reading for like an hour and a half which is like kind of crazy because usually I can only read like 30 pages at a time and then I get really hot or like bored I want to take a break something like that sorry this is so shaky but like I'm walking obviously um anyways I usually get like bored or take a break but I was like at the end and I was like, the end is near. So like I was saying, I usually don't um, come home to eat or if I do, I like grab something and put it in like a plastic cup and walk out the door with it. But um, I just like really need to, you know, come home for a second and I need to charge my phone because it's only at like 40%. Usually I use Colton's portable charger on the beach. Um, but there's no way my phone battery will last until like 6 p.m. sitting out there. So I'm going to cook up this yellow rice and cheese, put some salsa in this, eat it with um, tortilla chips. And I'm going to eat this outside because like I said, it's 1.30 and the UV is 10 right now. And like I do not miss out on the chance for a UV ray of 10. So... This is the bathing suit that I'm wearing, like a better look at it. I know I kind of showed you guys this morning. Um, it's like a metallic-ish kind of color, but once it's wet, it like turns into almost like a different color. It's super cute. There's no padding in it and the straps, oh my God, I can't talk. The straps are really long, but they self tie. The back of me is like so pale, guys. I never lay on my back ever. I just bronze this side of my body up. But um, yeah, I got in the water right after I finished reading the book because I was seriously so hot. 
um, and I tried to lay there to like kind of fully dry off, but I was like, I'm so hungry, I need to go back. So I grabbed my camera and headed back. I, like I said, I'm gonna eat outside, but it should only be, um, I'll only be here for like 10 minutes at most, and then I'm headed back. Finished both my books, I finished my magazine, so I have one other book to read for my summer reading. So pro I'll probably start that, and I'll be able to finish that in today and tomorrow most likely, but. It's gonna be pretty chill, like I said. I'm kind of on my own, so I'm just hanging out. But yeah. I feel like this vlog is probably like super boring so far, and it's because like I'm at the beach. Like I know the thought of a beach vlog sounds all exciting, but like it's kind of like, I'm not gonna film me sitting in my chair. And that's literally what I do, guys. From, from nine o'clock until six o'clock, I just sit in my chair. I sit, read, swim and I just keep rotating that. Oh, and I lay with my eyes closed. I like rotate doing those few things. Like I'm pretty boring. Um, but yeah, okay, I'll check in with you guys later. Shortly after I last checked in, I went to the beach, got in the water, and as soon as I came out of the water, everyone started fleeing the beach. The umbrellas were running wild. The lady, um, the lifeguard lady was like, okay guys, a storm is coming. I recommend you leave. So I stayed for like 30 minutes and then I was like, okay, well, it looks like it's kind of, kind of get bad. And the sand kept whipping me. So I was like, okay, I'll just go and lay out at the house, um, like on the balcony. Um, and I stayed out there for like an hour. Madison helped me shoot a couple bathing suits and posts for this month's Instagram. And then it started to rain, so my day was cut short, and literally nothing ruins a good beach day, guys, like rain. Like it kills my mood more than anything to have a rainy beach day. But anyways, we all showered, we got dressed. I'm wearing another Shein two-piece set that I'll show you when we get up. Madison's wearing her overalls and her favorite striped shirt, and we are headed to dinner. This is not my favorite shirt. Sure. I'm not sure where we're going, but I'll keep you posted, and it will be a surprise for both of us. Colton's wearing his favorite shirt, guys. It's a friend's women's shirt that we found in New York City. Right out of New York City. We, went, we walked all the way back to that place for it. Oh, I thought I was going to kill you. Little pit stop before dinner. I'm getting the soap dispenser, Q-tip holder, and little... Um, toothbrush holder for Emma and I's sink. We have like the bathroom that the four of us girls will share, but we also have like a sink in our room. So I'm grabbing this stuff for us and then we're headed to Outback. We want you to eat it. Go peel it apart so we can see what it looks like. It looks like that. <laughs> What's this Hot. blooming onion? Really? I thought it was so Colton's hot. excited. This is so hot. I don't think I can eat it. <laughs> this is how your salmon goes. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I got a chicken sandwich with cheese and bacon on it. It looks really good. Colton got mac and cheese. Madison got kids chicken tenders. They're living large for Colton's 19th birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Brett. It was Why are you smiling like that? Dig in. In Wilmington, and I met her in Wilmington. Oh, man. I am turning on the camera to chat because I just feel like talking. I'm just really frustrated, guys. Not frustrated, but so as you guys know, like I'm obviously at the beach and this is like a quick little four day trip. And my sister and her boyfriend were already planning on coming to um, the Outer Banks and they asked like if I wanted to tag along and I said yes because I had so many swimsuits to shoot um and it's like obviously a lot easier to shoot swimwear like at the beach like in an actual setting than it is to like at home so I was like all right let's I'll go and I didn't have to work these few days like and I obviously want to spend time in the sun so I was like yep of course I will come and it was kind of short notice because I didn't really know until like two days before. So I didn't have like a blog, like any blog things like prepared for the few days before. And some weeks I have an entire seven days of content ready beforehand and other days like um, it will be the day of and I still haven't taken pictures for like today's post. And I really wanted to blog every day in July and August and I wanted to be able to post every day on Instagram and every day on my stories 
and like really keep up with my habits and I keep setting these goals and like I'm just not meeting them and it's so frustrating guys and like I was so proud of myself to be able to blog every day last year in both of those months and I guess like a little part of me like I keep thinking if I could do it last year why can't I just do it this year like why can I just not do it and I guess I like part of it is like oh like I'm maybe you're just not working hard enough but the other part of me is like you know Mackenzie like you're in a different stage of life like this is my last summer before I go to college my life will never be the same as it is right now like I will never live at home the same way again you know what I mean like obviously I'll live at home again but like there are no guarantees of if Madison will be there or not or like what like my whole life is about to change like and that's like a crazy feeling and it's really scary and it's really really exciting but I'm like how can I be upset with myself when I'm working and I'm managing baseball and I'm freelancing and I'm doing other things and I'm still keeping up with YouTube and I'm still keeping up with the blog and I just need to understand that seven days a week is not expected it's not expected to to be full force all the time and that like it's totally okay to only be posting three or four times a week or like to miss a day missing a day is fine and like i don't need to apologize for that like i guess i just feel like guilty that i don't want to engage on instagram right now like i just i'm tired i want to go to bed I feel guilty that i didn't post a blog post yesterday or today so that means two days in a row like i didn't get a post up but there's no Wi-Fi here and it's like why am I stressing about this you know what I mean like there's no reason to because you guys are understanding and I'm on vacation it's okay to relax unfortunately my baseball season is over if you guys watched my last week in my life you know that I had a game on Saturday and basically like that game was the last game that I would ever be like, no, I don't want to be like, oh, that I'd ever be a manager for, but like basically the last time I'd ever play that same role in those boys' lives, which is really sad because um, we ended up losing on Saturday, but it's okay because we were still the number two seed, which meant that we had our first playoff game today. Like the boys had their first playoff game today and they knew that I wouldn't wasn't going to be there. They were like, um, like we're so sad Mackenzie like that you can't be there um, that you'll be at the beach but I was like well just win and then I'll be back um, for the game that would be later this week but they actually lost tonight they were tied four to four in the bottom of the sixth and they ended up losing um, five to nine so turns out Saturday was the last time I ever saw those guys play which is so sad but you know what I'm really proud of them regardless and yeah but now like I'm done with that baseball for oh my god I was just about to say for the summer but like for good I will like not manage baseball anymore which is really sad because those guys are my, my best friends but so you not no longer be seeing the baseball team in the vlogs because that is over so as sad as I am though it does free up some of my time because we did have a few games a week in practice so yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Hello everyone and happy Wednesday. I am checking in now. It's about 4 p.m. and I'm chilling on the morning right now. Um, yeah, I got here at 8.30 this morning and I've just kind of been chilling. I don't, I haven't been reading a book today because I finished my book yesterday and um, I still had one summer reading book and um, that's 13 seconds which is my like second summer reading for Kent and I just can't get into it like it's so boring so I'm honestly like just avoiding it um, I went to lunch today with Connor's grandma Nana we went to the black bean and I got a burrito bowl and I got it with the shredded chicken it was shredded chicken rice black beans cheese sour cream and salsa and it was so so good she got fish tacos and she says that they're super good there so if you guys are looking for a place to eat in the outer banks that was really good it's in kitty hawk um but yeah madison and colton went jet skiing so hopefully she's coming back later so we can shoot some swimsuits the water is seriously so warm but it's like 100 degrees out today so yeah anyways Hey guys, it is now Thursday and I am home. We got home at about 3.30 in the morning and I am hitting the ground running because I have to work today at noon. Alexa, stop. 
Um, and I need to go leave at 11.30 because I need to drop something off at the post office for my mom. It is currently 9.43 and I have made my blog, or made my blog post. I have written my blog post today. I still need to make my bed. I'm in the middle of unpacking and hanging up all of the new clothes that I've, like, gotten recently. Um, and... I have the flat iron on. I'm about to straighten my hair, iron the outfit, because I have to refilm the video for Dormco. There were a few things that I left out, so I am going to do that. And then um, I have a couple of other things to do. But my main goal is to film this video. My room is like a mess because, like I said, I'm in the middle of unpacking and there's just like stuff in the hallway. And I just hung up everything on my clothing rack. So the clothing rack is finally good. That is a plus. I have like trash everywhere. Like there's so many things I need to trash. So yeah, my comforter I slept in for the first time last night because I had put fresh sheets on the bed and like put my new comforter on. But then I forgot that we weren't spending the night here. Like we were leaving at nighttime on Sunday so I slept in it last night it was literally so comfortable I don't know if it was a combination of like not sleeping in my bed for a few days or being so exhausted or what it was but it was seriously so comfortable so I'm really happy with that my nose is like peeling like crazy like look at that um oh my god it looks so bad so I'm gonna try and exfoliate my face before I put makeup on but yeah, that is what I'm doing this morning. I'm just kind of trying to run around because I really need to get all this stuff done. I was able to get all of the things done that I needed to do, except for like a couple of smaller things that I really wasn't expecting to get done before I left. But I did film the video. I got my blog post up. I got my week in my life up that I needed to get um, finally published because I couldn't publish it while I was at the beach. I got ready, did my hair, did my makeup, got dressed. I'm wearing the cutest neon yellow set right now that's making me look so tan. Um, my mom actually didn't end up needing me to go to the post office so I didn't have to do that I'm headed into work folks I am working until five or six I'm not exactly sure but I'm gonna find out in a second I'm so excited because I haven't seen Sue in a while and I just checked my email and I had a couple of really exciting emails and guys and it just feels so good to finally feel like your hard work is paying off and like I've really felt that these last few days so yeah it was a good day at work pretty busy and I just ate a couple hot dogs for dinner and now I am here. Miss Wensloff's gonna be here today. I'm super excited because I haven't seen her in like over a week. I am a little bit late. The game started like 15 minutes ago, but that's all right. It looks like there's a lot of people here right now. It's kind of hard to park. So yeah, it's kind of crazy that this is my last week of watching Ethan too, which is so sad, but God guys, summer is winding down. I move in one month from today and I'm feeling all the feels about it. Seriously, every time I'm here, my hair gets like huge. It is currently bottom of the third, and we are up 10 to one. There were three home runs in the second inning alone, so they've had like a super good game so far. Bases were loaded one of the times, and then there were two guys on base for two of the other home runs. So, game's going pretty good so far. Some of it's a bat, there's two outs right now, but I'll keep you guys posted. It's been a good game so far so let's hope it stays that way but it is going kind of slow it's already 8 20 and we're only in the third inning let's go biggie Happy Friday, everyone. Alexa, stop. I always hate telling her to stop a song whenever I really like it. Like, Rumor is my favorite song right now, but I don't want to get copyrighted, so I have to turn her off. Um, as you guys probably could tell, um, 
it is a different day. The game yesterday was a success. They won 15 to 1. Ethan had a really nice bunt. Um, and yeah, it was really good to see Miss Wenslaw. I hadn't seen her in like a week, so that's like a long time for us. But yeah, anyways, today's on today's agenda, I am working and my work schedule's kind of up in the air. And then I'm headed straight from work to go to the mall because I need to expend my Express gift card for the month. And I also need to go to Express Factory sometime this weekend because um, I need to use that as well. But then... Actually, like, right next to the mall is one of the fields that Ethan's team plays at. So, um, me and Miss Wensloff are going to go to that game. So, I'm just, it's, like, right there. So, I'm going to just go get that all done. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing real quick because I think it's super cute. And I have been so bad about sharing my outfits with you guys lately. Um, this little yellow and white set is from Shein. It's just a little tie set. This is probably the first time you're, like, ever really seeing my tan from the post beach. I am very, very dark right now, as you can tell. I'm wearing my white mules from DSW, um, and then my fossil watch, a Stella and Ruby shell bracelet, my Alex and Ani's, and that white tassel bracelet is from Shein. On today's edition of Eating Healthy with Mackenzie, <laughs> I am having a one of my favorite flatbreads with cheddar cheese, rotisserie chicken, bacon, and avocado ranch because we had leftover bacon from yesterday. Madison made breakfast for Colton's birthday, so we had leftover bacon. So I decided to put that on my sandwich with the rotisserie chicken, and then I just have a handful of blueberries and blackberries, which I've already been snacking on because we have fruit in the house, and it tastes good. Waiting for my drink. Alright, the only thing that I get from Starbucks is a strawberry acai with lemonade, and I always get the small, whatever size that actually is. Um, and... I never, ever, ever get Starbucks unless I have a gift card and like someone gave me one for my grad party, so that's why I'm having it. But I don't drink coffee and I don't drink tea, but this is the best stuff, guys. Madison actually just helped me shoot a few looks for the blog, and I realized I never shared these pieces in um, a vlog when I got them, and like there's only four items, so obviously I'm not going to dedicate a whole haul um, video on my YouTube channel to it, so I'm going to share them with you here. I got this white bodysuit. It's like a high neck cut. It's not razorback, but um, it is like more of that, I don't want to say muscle fit, but that's kind of what it is. This is super thick. It's double lined. It's really, really nice. Um, you could probably just get away with wearing like nipple petals or stickers with this, um, and it is a full coverage bottom. I'm used to wearing um bodysuits that like are a thong style but this one is not it's not entirely full coverage it's kind of um like a cheekier style and then it has white buttons that snap they're like the cheap kind not like the silver uh, metal kind these are like the plastic ones but they're still comfortable whatever but this is what the bottom looks like see it's not full coverage but it's not a thong super great bodysuit like i love that i got a size extra small and i really liked it and then I got this skirt. I actually have a set from Shein that is white with this skirt and then a white top too. And Romwe had it with just the skirt available in orange. So that's what I got. It's like a burnt orange. And when I had it on, it was literally making my legs look so, so, so dark. Um, I love this. Super cute. It's like a linen material um, and just got tassels all along it. That was $10 as well. And then I got this little lemon dress, which is kind of hard to show because the straps aren't tied right now. But it's got lemons and oranges on it. It's like a slip material, so it is like that cheaper material. But this is under $10 after you use my code. Self-tying little straps. It's pretty just like it's a skater style kind of fit to it. But super cute. I love this. And I have matching lemon earrings from Shein. And then the last thing I got from Romwe is this plunging romper. And you saw Madison and I wearing these earlier on in this vlog. We wore them one day while we were at the beach. I got the blue version from Shein. And then I didn't realize that I had got the same romper in black from Romwe. It's super cute. It's basically two strips of fabric. You put the shorts on and then you can wrap it all these different ways. This material is incredible. You can go braless right through it. You won't like have any problems. There are so many ways you can tie this. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. And I believe this one is $13. It comes in a few other colors. Like I said, I already have it in the blue, but I will definitely be picking this one up in a couple of other colors. I'm not a huge plungy neckline kind of girl just because I feel like it's a little revealing for me. But um, 
this one's like super fitted so like your chest does not fall out of it like your boobs aren't like spilling out of it which is why i really like it so i might pick that one up i feel like that would be a fun going out romper in college but anyways i really liked everything i got from romwe it's basically the exact same quality and um i think it's from the same general area as Shein and Zaffle anyways so since I love their clothes I knew that I would like that but you can use the code Morgan for 10% off your purchase of $45 or more I don't get anything if you use it but you get 10% off someone brought in Birkin a bunch of Birkenstocks today yeah boy okay tell me which ones you guys like below do you like these ones or do you like these ones which I kind of like I kind of like this pair or the blue comment below but I did pick up the white so I probably don't need another pair but look at how cute they are because I needed white shoes aside from the white mules that I was in. Ready to shop at Express today. Okay I'm in Express now and literally this is the deal that I look most forward to picking out clothes for because it's so fun because it's in store and every other place I work with like I still pick out clothes online and I just love going to the mall and trying things on so I have tons of stuff. Clearance is an additional 50% off today um, and jeans are buy one get one 20 and I'm supposed to be styling jeans for some of these pictures so I love Express denim so much so I have like at least 30 things in here so I'm going to hurry up and try some of these things on. It out really well at Express and I'm going to show you what I got when I get home but we're at Ethan's game he's not playing shocker but we're here Hi. and it is bottom of the sixth and we are up five to four because Harris just hit a single and knocked someone in we have two outs the guy on first and second so who's number 17 I always forget JJ mouthpiece no he's not mouthpiece that's mouthpiece <laughs> Oh. Yeah! Yeah, Harris! Love that. It's a shame that I just cussed in the middle of that, though. I can't put that in. <laughs> yes! Yes! Way to go, Tommy! No. We are losers. <laughs> so I really lucked out at Express. I'm about to show you what I got for this month's collaboration with them. I'm super excited about it all. I'm going to start off with the things that were full price. Jeans were buy one, get one for $20. And um, the first pair I picked up is just like a regular low waisted. I got them in a size zero short and they're ankle legging mid rise. Um, and they just are like a classic medium wash with a raw hem. They are ankle length, like I said, so they're super flattering, no rips or anything, but I just really liked the way that these fit. They were super cute. Um, so that pair is $88 and then I got this pair for $20, which like is expensive for denim, but, um, for this collab, like you had to share denim, like part of the collab is denim. Um, to show off their jeans and then I got this pair that buttons up like it's got five buttons No, that's yeah, that is five buttons five buttons. They're high-waisted and they're the cropped legging high-rise and again a zero regular um, I usually wear a double zero regular but both of these jeans were just more comfortable in the zero and then again These have like a raw hem that look really cute cuffed. They're pretty much like the same jeans um, The other pair is a little bit darker, but this pair is obviously high-waisted. It's got those cool buttons, but for the most part, they're pretty, this, they're pretty much the same fit. And then I got this pair of shorts. In their shorts, I can only wear a double zero, and a lot of their shorts are big on me. But this pair is super cute. Um, just a light wash with a dark wash stripe down the side. I really only have one pair of denim shorts and then a pair of white denim shorts from Express. Um, so I was like in need of denim, and denim was twenty or was fifty percent off. So these were twenty five dollars. Super cute. I'll probably wear this tomorrow. And then I got these double zero black, just regular shorty mid-rise stretch plus super soft. And these were $20. These were super cute on. Um, I'm going to keep going with things that were full price. I have two other things that were full price. Um, the first being this bodysuit. And if I didn't have a gift card, I honestly wouldn't have gotten these two bodysuits just because they weren't on sale. They were $30 each. Um, which is like kind of expensive, but this one was so flattering on. It's just like a square neck um, bodysuit. And I know that a lot of bloggers, like this is their favorite bodysuit. A lot of them talk about it. It's ribbed, super cute. And this one is full 
but um, it does have snaps, but it is a full butt, not a thong style like some of the other um, bodysuits that I have from them. This one is a thong style, I believe. Yeah, this one's thong style, and this one's super flattering. It's like a high neck, high cut. It's kind of like the white. This is like pretty much just like the white bodysuit I shared from you. I shared with you from Shein. The one from Shein is eight dollar. I mean, from Romwe. The one from Romwe is eight dollars, I believe. But this one was thirty. But it's a lot nicer quality. Like it's much thicker. And this, the big difference is in the butt. Like this is thong style, so you can wear it with jeans without showing underwear lines. And these are like really nice buttons. Um, I actually tried this on the last time I went and I didn't get it and I kind of regretted it except this one is a full racer back but I kind of regretted not getting it and I needed some more money to in order to use a coupon so I got that those two body suits and then for some clearance for fines I got another pair of jeans I got a pair of black jeans because I think black jeans are the most uncomfortable jeans ever like something about them is just always uncomfortable but I tried this pair on like on a whim and they were so good like I really like these these are the ankle leggings super high rise I think I got all the same style jeans and these are in a double zero regular not a regular zero and they were twenty dollars they were 48 originally 88 then they were on clearance for 40 and then they were 50 percent off so these got a raw hem they're super cute um, I thought that black jeans like would be a must for college. I have black flares and then I have a pair of like black ripped jeans, but I don't just have like a pair of black jeans. So I thought that those would be cute. And then I hate to start talking about sweaters, but this one was on clearance, which I was kind of surprised by and it was super cute. I really liked the way it fit tucked into a sweater. So I decided to get it. It's in a size small and this was... $30 with 50% off. So it's 15 just a really cute oatmeal, slouchy. You can wear it off the shoulder or you can wear it down and have it be a little bit lower cut. Um, and then the last thing I got, shoes were also 50% off. And these just really caught my eye. I've been looking at a pair of shoes like this for a while now. And I don't know, I thought that they would be fun. They're like this wicker straw kind of mule in a size 8. And these were $30 with 50% off. So these were $15 as well. So overall, I really lucked out. I love going into Express. The woman there, the manager, she helps me out every time. Like she knows that I'm there for blogging purposes and she's so helpful. She's super sweet. Um, and we always have such a good time. Like as she helps me and checks me out, I take at least an hour while I'm in there um, to like go through everything, try everything on and then like work out the pricing and stuff. But she's super helpful. And yeah, I was really happy about everything I got. I feel like three pairs of jeans, two pairs of shorts, two bodysuits, a sweater, and um, a pair of shoes. Like, that was so good. So I'm really happy, and I can't wait to start. It is now Saturday, and I wanted to share with you some pieces that came in the mail last night that I actually, like, didn't open until after I'd ended off the vlog for the day. Um, these are from Dakotu, and I just got back from the beach, which is where um, I shot a lot of their swimsuits. I shot, like, eight of their swimsuits. And then five pieces of clothing came because they wanted me to try out some of their clothing. This first dress looks like this. Um, it's got little tassels. And I'm going to do a big haul with them because I want to share some of their other pieces that I got. But I figured I would share you guys, with you guys first. This jumpsuit looks like huge. The legs on it are super wide. Um, but it's cute. But like, look at how wide the legs are. I'm nervous that won't fit. I haven't tried this stuff on yet. The rest of it I really like. This white little top is super cute. I think with jeans and like white mules, it would be really cute for like a little date night look. Um, and then this top is super cute, just a smocked, um, navy and pink floral with a little peplum. I love smocked tops so much. And then the last thing is a pair of, like, um, jersey maybe, that's the material? Like, jersey comfortable material overalls. And I'm really excited about these because I think that they're super cute. They're camo. Um, they just look like that with one little pocket drawstring waist there's pockets um there and then one pocket on the back so i haven't tried any of this stuff on but i'm excited i just got dressed and ready i look a little fancy today and it's because i'm only working for like two hours so i kind of well i'm wearing a white dress i wanted to wear this white dress i'm wearing pink little tassel earrings from shein to match my pink wedges i haven't worn these wedges like this is why i'm so fancy today is because i wanted to wear these shoes I got them in the beginning of spring and I just like really haven't worn them more than like three times. Um, 
and for pictures and because they're so so comfortable though and I was like well I'm only working for two hours so like it won't hurt to stand on my feet and I know she won't have me running around so I'm wearing these today I also have them in gray I love these they're from Target I'm at the outlet mom it is literally like 100 degrees outside right now I'm sweating so bad I'm headed into the express factory because I need to go do my collab for them this month all these people are looking at me and I literally do not care so I have to get a pair of jeans for them. I know that because it's the same like kind of collaboration for both regular Express and Express Factory. So I'm about to do that and yeah. Okay, hello from the dressing room. I have quite a few pairs of jeans that I like, a few more pairs of pants, a couple of bodysuits, and um, this super cute sweatshirt, but it's only 20% off, which would make it $40. So. I don't know. I'm gonna try everything on. I don't have too many tops. Like, I haven't loved a lot of their tops. I like their basics, like bodysuits and cute shirts, but I have a, some trouble finding tops from here, but I always have such luck with pants. So, I'm gonna try everything on and see what I can do. I am just now leaving Express Factory, and I cannot say enough good things about this store. Um, I come to the same one every month, and I seriously love these people, guys. Like, they have the best customer service of any store I have ever been in. Like, both the regular Express and the factory. Like, I love them. They are so nice, and I got to meet like four different people, and they were all like, oh my god, hi. Like, I overheard that you're the blogger. Like, can we talk to you? Like, it made me feel so good. Like, I'm, I'm not a huge influencer by any means, but people like that make me feel so welcome and loved. And Express, if you are out there watching this, you are doing everything right. Not only do I love your clothes, but the best employees, guys. Like I seriously, oh my God, every time I leave there, okay, I sound like crazy right now, but every time I leave the regular Express or Express factory, I'm like overwhelmed with love. Like I'm giddy for no reason because that's how good these people make me feel. Like, I don't know, it's like crazy guys, but it, every time I go to Express or Express Factory, I leave in the best mood. Tell you guys what I got. Um, I didn't need another black bodysuit, but I really liked this one. It's like a black square neck. Um, the two that I got yesterday were like different. Um, and this one's not cotton. It's, um, I don't know what it is. I think it's polyester, let's look. This is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. I'm finally getting good about materials, guys. Okay, I got this sweater dress that I didn't really want a sweater dress at this time of year, but you know what? It's gonna get colder faster where I am. Um, this is super cute. It's black with like ruffles down the side and it like slouches off the shoulder. That was super cute. And then I got this gray Henley and this was, I know, $12. Super cute. Um, I loved the way that it looked like tucked into jeans, like went rolled up. And I usually don't wear something this casual, but it was so cute. And then I got this camo bodysuit. Um, bodysuits were 50% off and I was like, yay, bodysuits are 50% off. And I walked over to the bodysuit rack that was 50% off because the black one was only 40% off. And I had every single one except for um, this color. I have this in the black with white piping and the red with white piping and is hands down the most flattering bodysuit ever. So I picked it up in the camo. It's got a thong style bottom and it snaps. So that's awesome. I'm gonna wear this tucked into these black jeans and you're probably like, Mackenzie, you got black jeans yesterday, but these ones are black ripped jeans. So they're super cute. Um, you can't really see the rips in them right now, but they're got their raw hem and their ankle length and their high rise. So those were super cute. Those were $26. So another steal and then these were $25. These were $26 on clearance and these were $25 on sale. I couldn't believe it. Um, and these ones are super cute. They're like skinny, but they're not super skinny. The bottoms like have like larger cuffs to them. Um, you can cuff them any way you want, but like they have them larger cuffed. And you don't really wear ripped jeans that often, but I really liked the way that these ones fit and they're so soft. And I like that they weren't super skinny. They're more of like a relaxed fit. I thought that like with that like Henley tee um, and just like a pair of slip-ons would be really cute for like class. So that was super successful guys like I cannot believe that um so now I'm headed into none other than Target and um I don't know if my mom's here yet I don't think she is but I'm about to get all the things guys college is so soon and there's still so many things that I need to get I have a lot of stuff but there's still quite a few things I need to get so looking forward to that and yeah we're in Target, everyone, and we're hopping on the containers, 
get in all sorts of kinds of containers and just more containers. Just a bunch of gray containers. Here's our cart. I got these for food. Something like this would be for those shelves. This is ugly, but like this. That's not that. I don't think that's ugly. You think that's ugly? Um, we have this kind of gray. We have this kind of gray. That kind of gray. Getting Starbucks again, which I didn't need. I really want to try one of these, but they're all out of this one, which was the one I was going to try. Got small strawberry acai with lemonade again today, but I got it with light ice, and I'm really glad I did because usually it's like a few sips of drink and then the rest is ice, so I'm glad I did this. Now, no, now I am waiting for Madison her drink. She got a double chocolate chip frappuccino, so basically a chocolate milkshake. That trip to Target seriously took forever. It's 4.50 now, and I got, met them there at like 3.15, um, but we got so much stuff. It's all in the back, and we just bought a rug from TJ Maxx, so there's only a few things that I don't need. I mean, that I still need for school in terms of like storage and stuff. Now I just need to get things like shampoo, um, snacks, like stuff like that. Stuff like that. Um, I don't know. Madison's drinking her drink. What do you think of it? Mine's really good. 10 out of 10. What I think of it? Mm -hmm. I've gotten it. I know, but like, did they do a good job with it? Yes. So, now it's 4.50. We're headed home. I think we're going to dinner as a fam. And then, I don't know what I'm doing tonight. I guess we'll find out. We're at our favorite place and mom and I are splitting. I got the bacon shutter burger and then grilled flatbread with pepper jack cheese. Oh, what did I say? Grilled chicken on flatbread with pepper jack cheese and bacon and fries with avocado ranch because I'm addicted. Dinner was seriously so good. Like that's our favorite restaurant, but it tasted just extra good today. Like it was so, so, so yummy. Anyways, I'm in a t-shirt and shorts now. Um, my mom told me my hair looked bad, but like, and it did look bad. And then all of a sudden it looks like decent. But anyways, I just want to be so honest with you guys. Like, you know, I just, I feel like I owe that to you. So we ate dinner, we came home. I started working on tomorrow's vlog. Well, this vlog to up, up, well, I can't speak to upload tomorrow um, because I haven't started editing it, which is fine. I didn't upload a blog post today, which stinks. That means I only posted twice this week and I'm really bummed about it. But all of a sudden it was like 930 and I was like, there's no point in me posting at 930. I might as well not post. I might as well just wait and save it for a, another day because if I post that late, it gets like no traction and it's like that's like a waste of a post because no one will see it so I'm gonna save it for next week and I'm just gonna accept that I was a failure today <laughs> but um, anyways it was a crazy day like you guys probably saw I went to work then I went to Express Factory did that whole thing and then we spent hours out college shopping then we went to dinner then I came home and I talked to my roommate Emma um, you guys met Emma if you saw my first week in my life vlog and her and I, like, I just needed to sit down and show her everything I've gotten. And my stuff is everywhere, guys. Like, it's crazy downstairs, um, especially because I have a twin sister. And, like, she's obviously moving at the same time as me. Um, so we have so much stuff down there. And I know, I know that everyone wants to see a dorm hall and, like, oh, what, I, what I'm getting. But it's just kind of everywhere right now. And I kind of need to get organized before I sit down and film that. But it was really important that I call Emma and kind of like update her on what I've gotten so that she can see what she needs to purchase and what like I still need to purchase, like, you know, stuff like that. So I called her, we got to talk for like an hour and a half, which was awesome. And now this is what my current situation looks like. Um, you guys probably think I'm a pig. My room is always clean. I just only show it when it's dirty because that's like when I'm actually doing something. Like right now I am showing you this because I want to be honest that my room is not perfect right now and I'm about to clean it. That's why. I'm about to hang all this stuff up. That's like my new throw because for college I thought I wanted a white one but my comforter is white so I took the gray one off of my bed and I'm going to put the white one on my bed and then take the gray one to college. So these are all the clothes that I got from Express and Express Factory in the last two days. I did a haul for my mom, but I need to hang all those up and we're gonna walk in here. The dog's barking. 
this is what this room looks like right now and if my mom saw this she would have an absolute heart attack so we are going to clean it here is trash these are all clothes I need to hang up that I have gotten in the last few days and this is all clean laundry that needs to be put away I need to f clean the clothing rack and get it all sorted out um, things like that and I need to make our guest bed so that is what I'm going to do it is like 10 30 but I'm about to grind it out because when this room is messy it like seriously stresses me out because like this is where I keep clothing and stuff um and I just I need to sit down and really plan out what I need to shoot this week and stuff like that look at how dark my legs are holy cow like a rainy sun cold and makes me want to stay in bed twisted up all day long to tackle the clothes situation the bed is made and now I have everything that came in the last two days in the mail sitting on the bed and I'm about to hang all of that up just put my music back on because I took a couple seconds break and then I'm hanging up all of this stuff that I need to take pictures in still uh, or need to wear out I'm gonna hang that stuff up too there's only a couple other things I don't know if I showed you guys this dress or not probably have but look how cute this thing is So this is what I'm doing to save space because I don't have a lot of hangers left and I still have 10 sheen things coming this week. Um, I just lie multiple pairs over a hanger like this. At least with this kind of thing, I'm hanging up all these things because I still need to photograph them. Um, so that's how I do that. And then for shorts, just because like I said, I am low on hangers and I don't use pant hangers because once jeans and shorts are out of this room, they're done being hung up. Um, I put them in a drawer like they go in a dresser So I just in line both pairs of shorts literally right over top of each other to save some space All of this pile of laundry to go through and I pulled some things off of that rack that I had already worn out in public um, And have already been shot on the blog Those are gonna go in my closet and drawers and then that is still trash so what's really funny about this pile of swimsuits is that my mom is the kind of mom who when we were younger was like you only need two swimsuits that's all you need for the summer look at this amount of swimsuits this is easily 50 swimsuits and it all has to fit in there and i have to find a way to make it work right now otherwise i don't know what I will ever do with this many swimsuits. Holy cow. I was planning on just putting my clothes away and then I was feeling so overwhelmed about the amount of stuff that I had that I just started purging like a huge amount of clothes and I put a bunch of clothes that were on the rack in here. You still can barely move anything in here. Um, and honestly, it's rare that I pick something from here because I just choose something new off of the clothing rack, but this was like a start for me, okay guys? When you see the amount of stuff I got rid of, you will be seriously impressed. So, I'm able to shut my closet doors. I have this pile of shoes sitting here because I didn't go through my shoes and I want to do it. Um, so I'm leaving those there as incentive to do it. So then, if you walk into here, I still have that there, but I made the bed. And my clothing rack is really much better. I was able to move a lot of stuff that was up here into my closet. It doesn't look like it, but like there's a good chunk of room still left on here. I hung up all the new stuff like I showed you guys. And look at the amount of stuff that I just pulled out of my closet. Like look at how large this box is. Um, it's like all stuff. That's my graduation gown. I'm going to let someone else like use it um, at school because we use the same ones every year. But seriously guys, like, I don't know, I just started purging, like, that's the kind of mood I get in. Like, I get rid of one thing and I cannot stop. Um, and I was just looking at these things and some of these things I just, like, I love. But it's like, it's not that I don't want to wear them again, but it's that I have so many pieces of clothing that it's like, I don't really have a reason to wear them again. Um, or I'll just never get the chance because I have other things that are super cute that are coming in to review in style. So... Um, I'm getting rid of a lot of things and these are a lot of things like a lot of the things that I pulled are things from before I started blogging or before I started like getting sent clothes so a lot of it is like clothes that 
like 90% of it is clothes um, that came like pre-receiving clothes because I really only started getting clothes in the mail. Um, so yeah, I went through a lot of stuff. I went through my accessories last week in the vlog and um, I just went through a few drawers. I went through my bathing suit drawer, I went through my sweatshirt drawer, my jeans, my shorts. Um, I still should go through my t-shirts, my workout wear I like barely touched. Um, and truthfully, I didn't even go through my closet. Like I just pulled things out that I hadn't worn in over a year, but there are still things in there that like I just didn't even get to like hold it up and be like, will I wear this again? I didn't even get to that process. I literally just pulled out things that I haven't worn or just like will never wear again because I just don't like it anymore. But um, basically I have a clothing account on Instagram called Style Buys Closet and it's like typical for people to have a clothing account like where I live um, on Instagram to sell it and usually I just sell to people like that live near me like in my high school and stuff um, or I have a few like people that I'm close with come to the house and just like kind of sort through my boxes of stuff and just like try everything on here and like pay me and stuff and then they leave. And it's such a hassle to put things up on the Instagram account, like take pictures of everything, get it up. Someone will comment and be like, I want this, like mine, and then they'll never pay for it. Or I go to drop it off at their house and they're not there. Like it's such a process and I don't mind that process. Like if I was still going to high school with these people, but like I'll, it's like a process to see them now, I guess. Um, and... Poshmark is just like too much work for me at this stage like this is a lot of clothes like I'm in the process of moving you know what I mean so if I was just like selling a few things here and there I would maybe do Poshmark but like I'm in a moving kind of purge so I don't have time to put all that on Poshmark so I posted on that account like for people that I know like who are close to me um that one of these weekends i'm not sure which weekend i'm just going to like whoever dms me and wants the address these are like all people i know like you know people who like i would cheered with or um younger friends people like that anyone who messages me can come over and i'm gonna do it for three days i think maybe two um, and literally just sit at the house and wait for people to come in and they can come in this room and shop and I'm going to separate all these boxes like I'm gonna do one box of I'm debating if I'm gonna do it by like two piece sets jeans like pants tops or if I'm gonna do it by like five dollar bin eight dollar bin ten dollar bin twelve dollars like something like that and just have them around the room and then do shoes and accessories too because I just need to do a sale like that like that's the easiest way to do it like a giant little closet sale and that's what I'm gonna do before I go guys because I need to get rid of some stuff <laughs> like I have so much stuff I can still barely move things in my closet and I'm feeling overwhelmed with what to bring so yeah that's going to be enough of me rambling it is now 12 30 on Sunday morning which means it is time to end off this vlog and start a new one so thank you guys so much for joining me in this week's week in my life I feel like feels like last week was forever ago because I was at the beach and now I'm home but thank you guys for joining and I really really appreciate it if you guys could give this a like and subscribe that would mean the world to me and I will see you guys in my next video peace out Girl Scout